How dare you? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Are you ready to get, get down? Ladies and gentlemen. What's up, everybody? I'm Keisha King. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about this Ulta Beauty um, girlhood video with Dylan Mulvaney, the beauty of girlhood. Um, Y'all tried it. Y'all, Ulta, I will never, I'm not shopping with you anymore. I am not shopping with you anymore. I will get my Urban Decay primer from somewhere else because I will not get it from Ulta anymore. Not until you get rid of this nonsense. No, ma'am. So let me just show you guys how Ulta just tried every woman in America. And we're on day 167 of Girlhood. Mr. Hollywood, who I'm right here. <laughs> Hollywood, zoom in on that. Hi, friends. Welcome to the beauty of an Ulta Beauty podcast where we talk with the pioneers who are helping us redefine what beauty is and where it lives. I am David Lopez, and I've had many titles in my life. I've been called many things. Uh, beauty content creator, celebrity hairstylist, uh, gender fluid hottie. But today, I am your host. Um, today's guest has gone viral with her TikTok series, 100 Days of Girlhood, which I guess now is just Days of Girlhood. And yes. today, we're on 167. Welcome, Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> All the joy. Oh, I'm just so happy to be. I, I, we've been following each other for a long time. Yeah. So this feels right. It feels but right. But I also feel like I've known you for a long time. And but I feel like we've seen each other through a few different chapters already. We have. We have. I have been following you, and I think in my own expression of my gender, finding people on the online community <laughs> who I related with was very important to my journey, especially yes. in the beginning. Because I'm only really two years into identifying as gender fluid. And the, at first I was like, I'm non-binary and then gender fluid. So really what felt right for me. So right. well, to you, see, you want to surround yourself even, uh, I'm doing all the things that I always wanted to do and it feels really good. Feels really but good. then you do some of them and you're like, oh, this this maybe um, was a, like a thought for 11 year old Dylan and maybe not 25 year old Dylan. Well, you bring up a good point because there was something that you, I also loved Betty Boop. Do, I don't know. Finding it in adulthood because we're picking up the pieces. The boys were allowed to be beautiful, mm. and and I was like trying to be handsome, and yet that was didn't feel right either. And so it, it is really special to look in the mirror or like have my makeup done and be like, oh my gosh, this is what I've always wanted. Yeah. Um. So I think the beauty really is it's the potential. I don't think beauty for me is like an end goal or like a one thing, you know, a one look or a one specific moment. It's it's the ever changing potential to see myself in a in a light that makes me really happy. Yeah. That's so special. And I just find this utterly disrespectful. I find it utterly it pisses me off that you think you can slap on a wig, put on some breast some heels and a dress and call yourself a woman? How dare you don't know? It is an insult. All you have to go off of is the external hair, lashes, makeup, clothing, breast. That's what you think. That's what you think being a woman is. Every woman, every natural born woman, every biological woman, every real woman should be pissed off at this kind of foolishness. You don't know what it is to be a woman and I don't know what it is to be a man. I have no idea. And I would never insult men by trying to pretend just because I can appear as a man, I could grow a beard, take some hormones, grow a beard, shave my head and 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 do what I think I, I could act like a man. But I won't know what it's like to really be a man. I don't know that. And you don't know what it's like to really be a woman. You have no idea. As um this 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 Mulvaney person. 
I saw some other video. They're like, I was carrying around tampons, carrying around tampons and actually experiencing cramps and without getting graphic. What do you even know? Like what cramps are? Do you even know like what causes women to cramp? Do you even know? Do you even know? And what you have to deal with and the pain that comes with that and the mood, the hormonal mood swings that you don't know. And the idea that you can, you would think that you could just slap on a wig and some lipstick and call yourself a woman. Oh, and I just, and I, and I want to have children one day. Everything about every time one of these people do this kind of stuff, it's always over exaggerated. Oh my God. And I just swear. And oh my God. And yes. And girl. That's not what being a woman is. That's not what being a woman is. There is something that naturally comes with being a woman. It is something that it is a nurturing that comes with being a woman that can't be faked. It can't be faked because if you truly were a woman, you wouldn't try women by just throwing on a wig. That is a telltale sign of you of you disrespecting women, thinking that you could throw on a wig and some makeup and a dress and say, oh, well, poof, <laughs> I'm a woman now. That is a telltale sign that you have no idea what it's like. And it would be the same thing if I was to do that with a man. Shave off my head and, you know, oh, oh, I'm going to exaggerate what I think it's like to be a guy. You would be, y'all would be like, oh my God, what is wrong with this girl? It's obvious that I would be acting. Anyway, Ulta, y'all tried it. And I am not shopping with you anymore. And if you, I know y'all don't know me, but let me tell you, I'm one of those kind of people, when I say I'm not shopping with you no more, I'm not shopping with you anymore. Because guess what we have in America? Options. We have options and I don't have to shop with you. Ugh. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is pissing me off. Why in the world are we accepting this? Why? I don't like to be played. I don't like to be tried. I don't like to be played. You know, I, I basically grew up in New York City. So when I was 13, by the time I was 14, I was in New York four days out of the week, auditioning, singing, doing my thing for the next almost decade. So I feel like a lot of me, I was raised in New York City. I done seen, seen it all, been there, done it all, but seen, seen it and done it, got the t-shirt. I don't like to be played. And there's a lot of hustling and, 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 and the possibility of getting played when you live in New York City. And this is what this is. This gives that to me. This is a hustle. This is game. We are being had. We're being hoodwinked. And where are all the people? Why are we not standing up for this against this? Why are we just letting these people come on and just, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, oh my God, just why? There are more of us than them. Why are we accepting this? Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below before I get too riled up about this. Um, please like, please share, please comment, please subscribe. I will see you next time.